Hello YouTube, today uh, I am here with Nico and I have two, three different kind of SPL measurement devices. So I have this small device from eBay, it costs like 15 euros, uh, $20, $15, about that range. So it is dirt cheap and uh, uh, then I have this kind of uh, this is actually from uh, Google Play, uh, Play Store, uh, with a... Uh, actually it shows now 999. <laughs> well, okay, well this is really rubbish. But uh, it is from a Bosch. Uh, so it is very high quality brand and they have made this application for measuring a SPL or noise. Uh, so we'll see how these compared to the uh, 4 SPL that, I, that we have been using very much here. This is Finnish, uh, Finnish build quality, Finnish software from Mikko Virta, old if you know, old DB drag racing uh, champion from Finland, uh, Mikko Virta. Uh, actually the VLV enclosure in uh, DB drag extreme was uh, designed by Virta. VLV is very loud by Virta. Uh, Fun fact. Uh, he has uh, made this kind of uh, device with Joni Sorvari, uh, and uh, this is a really, really, really good SPL uh, measurement device. Now, these are many. Uh, SSA in uh, uh, USA has this kind of uh, device that you can put on the windshield and use the application via Bluetooth or a Wi Fi to, uh, real, uh, to make a video that has a SPL reading underneath there. It costs around the same that this. This is 299 or 279 euros. It costs like $300. So it's about the same price range. And then the uh, Russian has this SPL lab uh, that is similar to this. Now uh, what wizardry in is, is in this? This has a MAP sensor, mainfold air pressure sensor. It is just cheap like $20 sensor. Actually this whole device, is, device cost like uh, 20 to, uh, 30 to maybe 50 euros to build. But uh, the amount of work that has gone into these kind of devices and the software we are using here uh, I think that there it's it's reasonable price the 279 299 euros for these kind of SPL uh, uh, devices is reasonable because the amount of work going into these. But this is a sensor, a map, map sensor in here and uh, you have electronics here that uses 5 volts from the USB and it gives uh, data out and you have software that calculates the data out from it. Now this has been a uh, uh, checked out how uh, loud this is uh, compared to the Termlab. Now Termlab is probably uh, the most used and the most official uh, SPL measurement device around there. So uh, with uh, this designing this they have actually been uh, testing it with Termlab and making the software to show numbers similar to Termlab. Uh, but uh, it is cheap to make uh, but uh, how this uh, sensors the base frequencies like I have now 49 Hertz in here how this uh, ha behaves with these kind of devices now Nico will be holding all of these devices hopefully uh, so we have 4 SPL around there and then we have a, a cell phone here and actually one thing about cell phones cell phones only takes uh, what the microphone takes inside the SPL measurement. So the microphones goes into distortion really easily uh, up like over 100 dBs the microphone goes into distortion so it doesn't really know what kind of pressure is there. But now I will be showing how I will be burping around uh, uh, 130, 140 uh, decibels so I will be showing how the uh, measurement devices react. So hopefully everything is there and then pause up. Actually I'm gonna reset this because we have the 100 something there. So now pause up. So actually it was quite nice. Uh, this showed uh, 89 decibels uh, all the time and this actually went into froze mode. It really did not know what to show. Uh, but after the, it uh, 
came out of the freezing, it showed here 40, uh, 94 decibels and now 97 decibels. So I don't really know where it gets that decibel reading. Now, uh, our 4SPL got 134.6 dBs. I will be raising here uh, like a 2 to 4 dBs more. And we will be testing it again. Uh, it should now show louder. Nothing in this. This showed 90.8 decibels and we got 140.42. So these are not even going over 100 dB range. And uh, it is just odd that people buy this kind of uh, and uses this kind of to measure the decibels. I'm gonna just raise uh, uh, two two volumes here and test a little bit more again. So we get get over 140 dBs. Again, 90.8 dB, so this goes into distortion, this shows something, and we got like 143.79 decibels. So the um, these devices are just not for measuring uh, a slow frequencies. Actually, perhaps if you can like scream, it showed 111 decibels. So with this you can only measure like over uh, over 100 hertz or something like that. This does not even recognize the uh, uh, low frequencies. And uh, probably this is the same. It does not recognize the frequency and it just goes blank. But the decibel measurement uh, devices like Termlab and SSA and uh, SPL Lab and uh, uh, this 4SPL or the elder uh, of this uh, peak meter here in Finland. Uh, these are the only devices that can handle this kind of low high SPL pressures. And these are the only devices you need to get them. Now this costs a little bit, uh, uh, this costs a little bit so perhaps uh, not everyone needs this but get a group like uh, make a team and buy one for the team so everybody can have a me something to measure their decibels do not i really recommend do not use these these are just rubbish got anything to say oh mr no man <laughs> like if you like this like if you dislike and leave a comment we see you on the next video bye bye